Hey DP, it's Becca and Sophia and we're here at the Arlington at the Santa Barbara Film Festival where we got to interview Benedict Cumberbatch from The Power of the Dog and so many more talented people. Hi, my name is Rebecca. I'm part of Dos Pueblos High School's media program. Would you be willing to tell us a little bit about your film? Sure, my film is called The Game. It's my first feature film. Uh, we filmed it in Serbia and it's about a smuggler and teenage uh, youth um, refugees who uh, the smuggler is taking over uh, the Serbian and Croatian border into Hungary. What do you hope is the main takeaway people will see after watching your film? I hope that when people watch this film they see a version of themselves in all of these characters, both in the smuggler and the teenage boys. They're all just ordinary people going through an extra, extraordinary circumstance. Did you always want to do this as a career or was there something specific that inspired you? I did not. I, uh, I was mainly just a musician, like band, rock and roll dude. And then when I uh, moved to Hollywood, uh, my neighbor, who's uh, actually gave me this shirt under here, David Kelly, uh, he was just like, man, you'd be a, a great composer. Um, and really, it's, it's off of the empathy part of uh, an artist. You know, if they can watch a, a silent film and feel it all and know how to put that into music without even words, you know. Um, that's really the talent of, of a composer, I feel, is the, the empathy level. So once I uh, had that door opened, uh, sky's the limit. And, you know, this is a, a French-based uh, film with, like, a Brazilian bossa nova L.A. Latin heat, like, music vibe. Uh, so uh, I had a blast. It was very challenging and beautiful. And um, I love the fact that I didn't plan on doing this. And it's, so it's always new and uh, exploring and never gets old. Could you tell us a little about your experience that you had on Apples and Oranges? Yes, that was my first uh, feature documentary. So that was actually every step of the process was a new thing to me. I was doing before animated films and uh, I decided to move and make uh, a documentary. So uh, just um, researching and finding the people and finding the documents and everything, everything was new to me. Uh, if someone would want to go into an industry on working on a documentary, what advice would you give them? I think eventually you need to find your story. Uh, um, I mean, it's very different than making film with actors that you, you know you have to have like a really large budget and uh, get everything together and maybe get some experience with working with actors. Documentary you need to find your idea and just stick to it until you film enough material that you know um, then you can, that you can see the story. Um, I think that the shooting I love the shooting. I, I'm also the writer of my film, so it was a kind of a challenge to write the script because it's an adaptation of a novel. So changing a novel into a movie is quite uh, is quite a huge experience and difficult because you need to need to. Although it's a it's a novel, you have to make it to a film. So you have to change a lot of things and add characters, skip characters, something like that. But when I finally got the script, I really liked, and I started shooting. Everything just clicked. So because I did a really good uh, um, prepare work with the script, so I decided not to start shooting until the script was totally final, because that is, in my opinion, so important. So in that way, I enjoyed the shooting so much because I was so um, confident with what I had in my hands, the story, the way I wanted to tell the story and everything. So the shooting was just great for me. So I'm Rebecca from Dos Pueblos High School, a local high school's media program. So having experienced playing a variety of roles, yeah. uh, what, ex uh, what advice would you give to someone wanting to go into this as a career path? Ooh, uh, well, just persevere, you know, just keep at it. And if, if the work's not coming to you in the first instance, start creating your own. Do anything to cut your teeth and keep your hand in the game and just feel that you're exercising the muscles that you might have trained if you've had training or a lot of experience at school or high school or college in, uh, in amateur productions and just keep doing it, keep working and consume as much as you can. You know, it's a little bit more affordable now in many ways, thanks to Netflix, not this is a Netflix plug, but you know, it is, it, there's a lot of democratization of the artistic viewing experience. So just consume as much as possible, but not just the latest thing on TikTok or the latest thing on Disney, but go, go back. 
dub back centuries, go back, you know, go back decades, go back to people that you've never heard of before, because it's amazing how extraordinarily relevant and punchy and modern and fresh, say, Jimmy Stewart is in It's a Wonderful Life, even compared to a brilliant piece of acting in Euphoria. There's a naturalism in his performance that is so modern, it takes your breath away, even though it's a black and white film of many years ago. Um, so yeah, just keep consuming, keep doing. Thanks for watching. This is DP News and it ends now.